I'm a Viking girl in a Viking world. I can die cut using a rock. Barbie or Viking? What do you think? Hey Brian and welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlotte if you're new here and in this video we're gonna do some more die cutting without using a machine. Now this video is sponsored by In Love Art Shop who sent these ones over. I'm gonna do some unpacking in a minute but first let's look at some of your comments. So here are a few things that In Love Art Shop sent over and they also gave a 20% discount code for you guys, for my viewers. So if you want to buy any of these things, check the description box and you'll find the links there. I do not get commission for this and I do not get paid for this video. They simply just sent this over as a gift and a gift to you guys if you want to try them as well. So these ones are stamps and you add them to the stamp holder and then you dip it in ink. So you need an ink pad for that. You turn it upside down and it stays on this holder. And it's super easy to take it off and then you just change it for a different stamp. So that's quite cool. Anyways, let's do some die cutting. So what you will need is a paper and then you tape the die cut to the paper. You put the sharp side towards the paper and tape it on. Turn it around and then you rub it with a rock. And if you read Heather's comment there earlier, she asked how long it takes to imprint through the paper. And I would say it takes about two to three minutes for this size die. If it's a bigger die, obviously it takes longer, a smaller one, obviously quicker. And also if you use a thicker paper it takes a bit longer because you'll need to press a bit harder. The paper that I'm using here is a normal copy paper so it's just around 120 GSM I would say. Um, uh, thinner paper breaks too easily so don't use too thin paper. It's very hard to get it out of, out of the die cut without ripping. Another common question that I get is if this is a specific crafting rock that I'm using and the answer is that it just needs to be a rock that is smooth on the edges and uh, so it doesn't rip the paper but other than that it can be any type of rock. This one I picked from, from the river. And then once you cut out all the finest details you start taking off the surrounding paper and slowly removing the dye out of the paper. Now if you need to, if the finest details didn't cut, you just go over it one more time with the rock until you get it off. And then here I'm using a toothpick to take out the smaller details. And on the back side of these dies, you have small little holes so you can poke them with a toothpick until the paper comes out and then uh, you turn it around and then slowly slowly remove them from the inside of the die just like this take your time with this part i mean patience 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 you don't want to rip the paper and you see especially in this type of dies that have a lot of like these leaves are sticking out for example and then it's just a thin little circle that keeps it all together so take your time you don't want your your cut to rip and then I'm gluing it inside my little scrapbook that I'm creating for my daughter Thank you so much for watching guys that is it for today this is how you die cut using a rock thank you thank you thank you for watching do subscribe if you're new here and do stay tuned for more videos check out the other one die, die cut videos as well if you haven't already and you are into crafting it is time for me to start my zoom art class i have everything ready here on my table as well I'm gonna do some painting with two girls here in london but yes 
stay tuned for more videos. Ha det bra!